Hello Mouses, we've got some good legal news for you today, so let's get right to it! We're going to start the day off with some fantastic news. In the whopping 478 votes to 39, the European Parliament has decided to vote against ACTA, the very controversial, hyper-secret political agreement between corporations and governments that gave far too much power over copyright to companies. And after waves of protests following the SOPA problem earlier in the year and last year, and all of the riots that were caused in Prague and places like that, the European Parliament has gone, hmm, we probably should actually deal with this democracy thing and vote as the people want us to. So they voted, well, most of them have voted, there's 39 tosses in amongst them, have voted that actually ACTA is a really bad idea, it gives far too much power to corporations, and now we can live in a world that has a bit better copyright. That's not to say that everything's all fine and dandy and you can go copy things willy-nilly. You can't. Copyright still exists. And copyright is still a bit of a problem because far too many things are copyrighted for far too long. As someone who creates a huge amount of copyrighted material myself every day, I have to say, once I die, yes, my, any descendants I have should have the benefit of that but not forever, and certainly not to the point where my grandchildren, who don't even exist while I'm creating this stuff, should benefit from it. No, they've already got the benefits that have caused by me being able to market my work, and also my children be able to market their work, providing they have children. At the moment, I don't bother. At the moment, copyright is far too long. At least now, we don't have copyright to the point where people might get criminal sanctions for perhaps passing around a copy of a comic that they like. Moving on, we have the unfortunate news that comedian Eric Sykes has died at the age of 89. Reports are coming in saying that he's died after a short illness. He's one of the comedy greats from Britain. He pretty much helped define comedy in the 20th century. And my thoughts go out to his family at this awful time. I don't want to dwell too much on it because, let's face it, these things are private affairs for the family. But my thoughts are with them. Okay, now we're going to move on to the staggering news. For years, the standard model of physics has been what has been taught to physicists the world over. It's what we get our modern view of the world from. The standard model is what tells us what particles are like and how they act, and also has predicted the Higgs boson. Now, the, like all other elementary particles, the Higgs boson is not a particle as in, I can pick it up and hold it in my hand. It's not that kind of thing. They're not solid the way that we would think of a table as solid. What it is, is an excitation of what's called the Higgs field. And this excitation causes particles that are in that area to have problems moving. It causes them to slow down and, and interact as if they have mass. Effectively, the excitation of the Higgs field is what gives other particles mass. It's the basis of the standard model that this Higgs boson causes mass in other particles. But we've never found it before, which is one of the reasons why we built this massive, massive, super expensive particle accelerator on the site of the old CERN. It's found the Higgs boson to a probability of 99.999%. It's an almost absolute certainty that the boson has been found and there's only a very slight chance that it's actually another particle that we've never even heard of acting in a similar way. So we can pretty much say for an absolute certainty that CERN has been worth its money. This is an amazing thing. We've taught the standard model for years because it's the one that fits the bill most nicely but there's always been this problem with it in that the fundamental particle that it predicts couldn't be found anywhere. But now, yes, so my degree is not worthless. I have to say, I, I have a physics degree, I specialised in particle physics, and it was always a bit iffy that one of the fundamental aspects of the theory we were being taught didn't actually exist. But now it does. We can prove it does. So everything's all fine and dandy. So this is fantastic news. And of course, there's still a lot of data to be analysed, so we can't say, well, that's it, physics is over, we've got everything we need. We've got to analyse it, we've got to test it, and once we've sorted this out, we've got a lot of other things that we still have to explain. But Another win for science. And on that happy note, I'm going to end the show today. So, thanks very much for watching the video. If you liked it, please remember to click the like button. Share this with other people who you think will enjoy it as well. And click subscribe so that you get more videos in the future. Until next time, I've been Zoe Kirk Robinson. You've been watching a video and I'll see you tomorrow.